using a secondary bag, IV piggyback. Check physician's orders, MAR and agency policy. Wash hands, gather equipment. Ensure that the client's venipuncture site is free from signs of vein irritation or infiltration. Ensure medication is compatible with primary infusing solution. Close roller clamp on secondary administration set. Spike bag. Affix needleless locking cannula to end of secondary tubing. Label tubing with date and time. Hang secondary bag on IV pole. Cleanse injection port of primary tubing above electronic infusion device with antimicrobial swab. Insert needleless cannula of secondary piggyback tubing into primary port. Use extension hook to lower primary bag below secondary bag. Prime tubing of medication bag by opening clamp, placing bag lower than primary solution, and allowing primary solution to flow into secondary bag tubing. Backfill until secondary tubing chamber is one-third full. Clamp secondary tubing. Program secondary settings into infusion device. Open clamp on secondary bag tubing. Check that primary infusion resumes at its set rate after secondary medication has infused. If infusion pump is not available, use the following procedure. Set the flow rate for the secondary piggyback medication by completely opening clamp on the secondary tubing, regulating the drops per minute using the control clamp on the primary tubing.
When secondary bag is empty, readjust rate of administration of primary solution to desired flow.